Hi, I'm Sarah Ingalls, a third year student at Capital University Law School, and we're going to have a conversation with Dean Janutis. Thanks for being here, Dean Janutis. It's my pleasure. What is your vision for capital in the long term, and where do you see it going within the next decade? So I think capital has to stay true to its historic mission. That mission has to been to provide opportunities for individuals from underrepresented communities to enter the profession. Um, it has to provide opportunities that are accessible to people who get to law school through a traditional path and for individuals who get to law school through a non-traditional path. That's vital. One thing I see when I talk to alumni and I talk to others who are working in the legal and business community is the really the growing interdisciplinary nature of the practice. Lawyers are no longer operating in silos where they're merely reacting to situations and providing advice and helping resolve legal problems. More and more they're being called upon to be business partners, to help clients build their business, to understand legal decisions in the context of business decisions and business models and business planning. Um, and so we need to prepare our students to operate in that environment. So for me, long term, I'd like to see the law school grow opportunities for students to interact with people from other professions, other disciplines while they're in law school, start to learn a shared language for those individuals or working with those individuals and really understand how they can use their legal skills to collaborate and support with those, those individuals. We were talking a little bit ago and you mentioned that you did the depositions course and to me that's a great model of where we need to be long term. So you know from your experience we have a course that we recently started that uh, teaches deposition procedure and technique to law students. Um, and in some ways it's a pretty traditional legal skills class. You know, you learn what a deposition is, you learn how to do an outline, you learn how to prep a witness, you learn how to ask good questions. Um, but the twist is we've done this uh, as a partnership with Grant Medical Center. The residents at Grant Medical Center had long learned as part of their residency training a little bit about malpractice actions and they'd learned it by kind of a traditional lecture from a lawyer who then maybe role modeled a deposition. Um, but we had this great idea that wouldn't it be great if all of those medical residents got to experience what a deposition is. And so we put this course together with the idea being that our law students would learn a lot about depositions, the residents would learn a lot about depositions and med mail, and at the end you all would get together and every law student would get to practice taking a deposition on a medical resident who would then get to practice being deposed. It was a pretty simple idea, it was great. I thought it worked well. Um, when I talked to the students the first time that we ran through this course, what I learned from the students was, yeah, they really enjoyed the opportunity to get that live client or that realistic experience, but what they liked even more was just the chance to get to know some young doctors that they knew that later on in their career they might interact with these people. And when we talked to the residents, they said the same thing. I mean, they said things like they'd never been in a law firm before, and so they were terrified to come to the law school and meet the law students. Um, and so I came to appreciate the value of giving students the opportunity for these kinds of interdisciplinary exchange where they can really meet and understand the people that they're going to have to work with later. And hopefully build strong relationships when they do get out and are part of business teams together. So I think long term, the law school has to look at ways to create more learning opportunities like that for law students. I think the flip side of that is that more and more people who work in other professions have to have an understanding of the law. You know, they're not going to practice law, but they have to work with lawyers, they have to work with regulation. And so I think the law school has an opportunity to educate and train those individuals as well um, and do it in a setting where they're learning from law students and law students are learning from them. I think we need to think about those kind of things moving forward. Those are great points. As an evening student who's bilingual and has taken a lot of experience-based classes, I can attest to the value. So. This has been very insightful and interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.